Science Laboratory Tools Study the different science laboratory tools and their uses. A microscope is an optical instrument that enlarges images of minute objects that cannot be seen by the unaided eye. A magnifying glass is an instrument used for observing tiny objects. Test tubes are used for heating small amounts of liquid. A test tube holder is a metallic device used to hold a test tube while being heated over a flame. A graduated cylinder is used for measuring the volume of liquids like water, oil, and other solutions. An alcohol lamp is used for heating materials. An evaporating dish is a porcelain dish used in evaporating chemical solutions. A beaker is a thin glass vessel used as container for fluids. It has graduation for the measurement of volume. A thermometer is used for measuring temperature. A funnel is a device used when pouring liquids or fine particles to a small mouthed container to avoid spilling. Earlier flask with stirrer on a hot plate heats the liquid with continuous stirring. Litmus paper is used in identifying if the liquid is an acid or base. Table beam balance is used in getting the mass of objects. A digital microscope provides a different feel and sight at proving the structures of a cell. Mortar and pestle are used in grinding materials such as leaves in a chromatography experiment. Telescope is used for looking at objects that are a great distance away. A test tube rock is used to hold multiple test tubes upright at the same time. They are especially useful for organizing test tubes when different solutions are being worked on or collected at once. A compound microscope a very important device that is used in a science laboratory is the microscope. A device that gives an enlarged picture of tiny objects. Let us study the parts of a compound microscope as seen from the picture on the right. A compound microscope has an optical system, a mechanical system, and a light system. The lenses which make up the optical system of the compound microscope are usually two or more objective lenses of different magnifying powers. A low-power objective is used first to locate the region of the specimen to be examined. If further magnification is wanted, a high-power objective is then moved into position. The microscope usually has just one eyepiece or ocular. However, in some cases, the ocular or eyepiece may be removed and replaced by another of different power. Usually, you will find three or four objective lenses on a microscope. They almost always consist of 4x, 10x, 40x, and 100x powers. When coupled with the 10x most common eyepiece lens, you get total magnifications of 40x, 4x times 10x, and you can still increase the magnification to 100x, 400x, and 1000x just by combining two lenses. Meanwhile, the condenser lens is used to focus light onto the specimen. Condenser lenses are most useful at the highest powers, 400x and above. The mechanical system consists of the structural parts that hold the specimen and lenses and permit focusing of the image. 
The tube connects the eyepiece to the objective lenses, while the arm supports the tube and connects it to the base that is at the bottom of the microscope to provide support. The stage is the flat platform where you place your slides, and the stage clips hold them in place. The revolving nose piece or turret is a part that holds two or more objective lenses and can be rotated to easily change power. The light system consists basically of illuminator or mirror and diaphragm or iris. An illuminator is a steady light source, 110 volts, used in place of a mirror. If your microscope has a mirror, it is used to reflect light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage. The diaphragm or iris is a rotating disc under the stage. This diaphragm has different size holes and is used to vary the intensity and size of the cone of light that is projected upward into the slide. How to use a microscope when using the microscope, remember the following. Make sure the microscope is steady with its base sitting on a flat, stable surface. Notice the eyepiece at the top. This eyepiece fits into the tube of the microscope. Adjust the mirror near the base of the microscope so that the right amount of light is sent up to the tube. Put the microscope slide on the stage with the material to be viewed over the hole in the stage. Use the stage clips to hold the slide in place. There are two or three objective lenses attached to the nose piece at the base of the tube. One is low power, one is medium power, and the others are medium or high power. Always use a low power objective first. Turn the nose piece until the lens clicks into place. Look through the eyepiece and turn the course adjustment knob to move the lowest power objective lens down close to the stage. Look through the eyepiece and turn the course adjustment knob until your specimen is in focus. Turn the fine adjustment knob to make the focus clearer if needed. Change the objective lens from low to medium or high. Be sure that the objective lenses do not hit the stage when you rotate them into place. This could scratch the fragile lenses or break the slide.